1148, it's time to bring you some news from around the animal kingdom. First up, a rarely seen deep sea fish resembling a serpent was found floating dead off the San Diego coast. And this 12 foot long oar fish was found over the weekend and brought ashore for study. It's the only time, the only 20th time an oar fish is known to have washed up in California since 1901. According to local fish experts, oar fish normally live in the deep part of the ocean where light cannot reach and have a mythical reputation as predictors of natural disasters or earthquakes, although no correlation has been proven yet. Meanwhile, the Queen's Zoo in New York has welcomed a new southern poodoo <laughs> fawn. Thank you, Bobby, for putting that in there. One of the smallest deer species in the world. The fawn was just two pounds when it was born in June. That is so cute. It's so sweet. When fully grown, the poodoo can weigh up to 15 to 20 pounds and reach the height of 17 inches. It's the eighth fawn to be born at the Queen's Zoo. Their native numbers are dwindling in South America because of increasing commercial and residential development. And the Berlin Zoo's newest baby pygmy hippo <laughs> made her public debut on Thursday, one day after her name Tony was chosen for more than 20,000 suggestions. The name is inspired by German soccer star Antonio Rudiger. Tony was born on June 3rd and is still not much bigger than a small dog. Pygmy <laughs> hippos are already extinct in Nigeria and there will be fewer than 2,500 adults remaining in parts of Africa. Well, they may be clumsy, but you just want to cuddle them. Now, four little tiger cubs at a zoo in Germany were allowed outside for the first time this week. Take a look at there. The three boys and one girl were born on May 30th and have yet to be given names. And they are the first Siberian tiger offspring born at the zoo for over 30 years. According to estimates, there are fewer than 800 Siberian tigers left in their natural habitat. And the Johnson County Sheriff's Office found a fluffy friend on Thursday. Take a look at this. <laughs> a passing motorist found this injured owl along the roadway and gave it to the Sheriff's Office. The injured bird was taken to a Raptor Advocacy Rehab and Education Group in hopes of rehabilitating the bird of prey. All right, and move over Mufasa. <laughs> Lions at the Oregon Zoo were stars of their own movie on Monday as they stole a hidden camera set up in their enclosure. And look, look at this, and proceeded to paw at it, carry it, and yawn into it. <laughs> According to a zoo post on Facebook, zookeepers hid the camera in the lion habitat the previous week, and within days, the lion found it. And word is, Disney already has the rights to this one. <laughs> no kidding, move aside, you just, they're begging for the camera time. Yes. Reminds me of me sometimes, just. Yeah. Begging for the camera shot. But 